are the Wii U. The console that a lot of PlayStation and Xbox fanboys think is a piece of shit with no merit and absolute failure because apparently Nintendo only make games for children or really iterative games because Infamous Second Son is such a fucking innovative game, right? You probably gauge my opinion on this console just based on the first few sentences of this video, but in my opinion, the Wii U had a very good year this year. Nintendo really started to turn the console around, and if you ask me, it's the best console to own right now, and that's for one reason. The Wii U has some fucking games to play. My main issue with 2014 was the fact that both the PS4 and Xbox One didn't have a lot of exclusive games to play. The PS4 nearly had fucking none, and while the Xbox One had a few more games, there weren't really enough to justify purchasing the console either. The Wii U not only had a lot of exclusives to play, but all of them were really good. We had Mario Kart 8 and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which were both really good, and more recently we got Bayonetta 2 and Smash Brothers, arguably the two best games of the year. Even if you're a Sony drone or an Xbox drone, even you have to admit that no exclusive game on the PS4 or Xbox One that wasn't a re-release came close to those two games in overall quality. This is of course ignoring a lot of exclusives that were already available from the previous year, which also helped out. I've said this to multiple people and many of them have agreed with me on this. If you own a PC, the Wii U is without a doubt the first console to get because it has great exclusives and a lot more than the PS4 and Xbox One had. But another reason why is because the Wii U is the only console to me that feels like it was designed purely to be a gaming console, not a fucking entertainment or social media hub. I know people will argue that being able to watch Netflix or something on your Xbox or PS4 is a great positive, and to be fair, it's worth considering. But the reality for me is that I buy consoles to play games, and the Wii U feels like the only console that doesn't put a bunch of barriers between me and the game. The Wii U is also the cheapest console, and I mean that in multiple ways. The console is cheaper from the offset, but you don't have to pay to play online either, which is a major plus for the console. I fucking hate having to pay to play multiplayer because you shouldn't have to pay for fucking peer-to-peer, -peer, which most next-gen games run on anyway, unlike PCs where they're on dedicated servers and free. Online also doesn't get targeted by Lizard Squad, so you don't have to worry as much about the network going down to a bunch of hacker fucks. However, the Wii U still lacks in some areas. Games are not utilizing the gamepad, and the controller itself, while fine, does get uncomfortable to use. Multi-platform support is fucking non-existent, and the Wii U needs that support to make it more of an all-rounded system like I said the PS4 and Xbox One are in some way. However, with that in mind, the Wii U is the only current-gen console I have that I don't have buyer's remorse for. I like the Wii U a great deal, and that's because it has games, and the games are starting to come with greater frequency. There are already a number of great games coming next year, and after years of stubbornness, Nintendo are starting to listen to the gamers and give us what we want. While the Wii U will probably never sell as well as the PS4 or Xbox One purely because it's not the most powerful, I think the Wii U does have a bright future, and if you own previous generation consoles, or especially if you own a PC, I think the Wii U is the best choice right now and had the best year in 2014.